Hey guys, this is Koji Fu coming to you with a Terran strategy. It's a very simple Terran strategy. Uh, the first time I saw it was in the GSL Open Season 2, and I tried it out myself, and it's, it's pretty strong, so I, I thought I'd share it with you all. <coughs> um, pretty much, this strategy involves basically Marines uh, putting early pressure on your opponent and just keep pumping out Marines through the entirety of this match, pretty much. So I start in the 2 o'clock position while my opponent starts in the 12 o'clock position. Um, the map is Lost Temple. As you can see the distance from my base to his base is fairly long, not too long. But for this strategy closer is usually better because any kind of tier 1 unit that has to walk long distance uh, really loses its value just because it takes so long to get to the other side. The beginning of this strategy is fairly standard. Um, you want to go 10 supply depot, 12 racks, and then 13 refinery. There goes the scout, I chase him out. Uh, I hold my SCV here just so he can't come back in. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that gas, you only probably need one. Uh, just have three SCVs on one gas and that should be enough. You need gas for upgrades, stem, shields, and uh, level one upgrades. Maybe even armor. And you want to get your orbital command at around 15. I think I get it at 16. I got this supply depot kind of early just because I don't want to worry about having a scout come back into my base and seeing my second barracks. Uh, if he sees my second barracks then he knows there's going to be some kind of pressure early on and it's just going to give him time to prepare for that. So you don't want that to happen. And my scout finally reach finds his base. Looks like he's also doing a pretty standard build. And right here I see four gateways, so I can tell that he's going to have a heavy Zealot Stalker army. And that's actually perfect for this strategy. Um, Balled up Marines, they do so much damage, uh, they can take out Stalker Zealots fairly easily. So I'm making three more barracks. Upgrading stem. And these three barracks, they're gonna have the reactor attachment. And pretty much until you're ready to move out, keep pumping out Marines and SCVs. There goes one reactor, and my second one should be coming out pretty soon. There's the second one, and making a marine with this one. Usually you want to move out when you have about six marines. Uh, go ahead and take a watchtower, or take both of them for that case. Um, of course watchtowers are very important in general and for this strategy. Upgrading shields as well. 
I'm moving out with my Marines. Take the first watchtower and make sure there's no Protoss units there. And take the second watchtower. This watchtower is uh, very important to have. Just because you can see if he decides to push out, you can see his units come out. Um, also, he doesn't see your marines piling up in front of his base. I even build a bunker here to keep this position, but I, it's probably not necessary. I just really want to keep this tower, apparently. So moving out with my marines to take a quick peek and maybe do a little harassing. You always want to hug this side of the wall just because a lot of times they're going to have stalkers up here and they can see everything that's coming up. I see this expansion and that's even better for me because that just means that he has less units to defend in his weapons. Two misplaced force fields there. You always got to watch out for those force fields because zealots and force fields, they can demolish a uh, marine army. Without force fields, zealots aren't that too useful. Unless they have charge. But again, regroup with even more marines and go for seconds. Hug the wall. Here, what I should have done is I should have just ran, but uh, due to my horrible microing skills, I lose a lot of my army right there. And what you don't want is you don't want to lose your entire army, or you don't you want to lose as le little marines as possible. You just want to keep them piling up, and pretty soon you're gonna have an un unstoppable force of marines. Again, taking my expansion, um, it's always a good idea to expand, uh, especially while they're trying to defend. I'm also getting my level 1 upgrades. As you can see, it's almost done. It's going to help out a lot. Place force field. Another misplaced force field there. Um, another thing you want to keep in mind is that you don't want to waste stims because they do take away quite a bit of life, and a couple of waste stims bring your brains down almost half life. And, uh, oh, a good force field there. I lose about half my army, but since I re force them, they lose quite a bit of zealots as well. I lose quite a bit of marines there, which is not good, but just keep them coming, keep pumping out marines, keep reinforcing them, and don't ever let up the pressure. If you let up the pressure, uh, they're going to counter. They're going to hit you so hard. Again, you don't want to keep your marines here because stalkers can shoot down from there. It's a very bad position. That's an even trade off, but here come more of my marines. Again, zealots, they don't do effective unless they have force fields or there are sentries to put on force fields. And just constantly pressure them. That's pretty much the entirety of this strategy. Um, even though he's teched up to stargates, he really can't... probably is going for void race to harass my mineral line, but he really can't produce any of those just because he has to keep pumping out 
zealots and stalkers to fend off my marines. Again, reinforce. <clears throat> A couple of misplaced marines there. Now, I take out this Twilight Council just because Psy Storm scares the crap out of me. And they are so strong against Marines. Again, grouping up for another attack. <sighs> Just keep pumping Marines seven at a time if you can. Maybe even add more guards. Oh, he blinks right into my ball of Marines. My when Marines are pumped up like that, they do so much DPS. It's ridiculous. And there's a GG. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed that strategy. It's an extremely simple strategy, but it's also very effective. Um, so there it is. Hope you enjoyed.